Hello there and welcome to this new video. Many of us do use cloud services and many of us uh, do own a copy of Windows 10. However, maybe we do not all want to use OneDrive as the default storage location on our computer. Or maybe we just don't want to have the OneDrive app opening uh, when we want to store something. So if you want to turn this off, well, there is no direct way of doing it in Windows 10. However, it can be done. If you own Windows 10 Home Edition, you cannot do it using Group Edit because Group Edit won't be installed on your copy of Windows. However, you can do it using the Registry Editor. And that's what I'm going to show you in this quick video. So, whatever you decide to do, do not let one drive you crazy. <laughs> well, at least I got one person laughing. Stay tuned. Before we get started, just let me tell you that everything you need for this tutorial will be in the description just below. But so that you get confident in using the registry editor, if, especially if that's your first time, let me explain what we'll be doing now. Okay, so what we will be doing is opening regedit and following a path like the one you see here. So to follow this path first, we will locate and open the hkey local machine folder. In it, we will locate and open the software folder. In it, locate and open policies folder. In it, locate and open the Microsoft folder and then locate and open the Windows folder. And in it, we will see that there is no OneDrive folder. So we will create one and give it certain attributes to get the results we are looking for. So let's do this, shall we? So first you go to the start menu and type reg edit exactly the way it is spelled here. Then you click on it you accept the prompts that you will get and then you will see this. So you locate the HKey local machine folder and with the arrow you open it. Then you locate the software folder with the arrow, open it. And in here we want to locate the policies folder. Once we have it, we open it with the arrow. Then we want to see the Microsoft folder, open it with the arrow. Then we go down and look for the Windows folder, open it with the arrow, like so. And in here, we see that there is no OneDrive folder. And what we intend to do is create a OneDrive folder and give it certain attributes. So to achieve that, we go to the top here, make a right click. And once you make a right click, you select New key new key so now i'm going to zoom out and here you see you have to name the key and it is very important that you name it onedrive spelled exactly the way i will show it here all one word with capital o and capital d onedrive once this is done click on the folder symbol and this is stored now you need to make another right click on this OneDrive folder. Select new D word 32 bit value and click. Once I zoom out, you see here on the top, I can name this value and you will need to name it exactly the way it appears here on the screen. Disable find sync. NGSC and use the capital letters in the same places I use them here for it to work. Once this is done, you can click outside, just like, for example, where my arrow is. So you can make a simple click here. Okay, and now you double click on it. And here, where it says value data, change from zero to one and click on OK. And that's done. So as you see here, we have this new value and we now can close. So now you may be wondering, what should I do next? The answer is, 
I reboot. So let's now reboot your computer. And once you have rebooted your computer, what you need to do first is go to your start menu or your Windows menu and try to open the OneDrive app. If you have done everything correctly, the OneDrive app will try to turn on, but it won't be able to turn on and it will just shut itself off. And what this will do is it will also take away from your file explorer the OneDrive icon. I hope you succeeded in using the methods I described in this tutorial. I'll be now working on a new one and I'll be making these tutorials available as well in different languages. So if you liked it, by all means, click on the like button. If you want to see more, click on the subscribe button and let me know what you feel in the comment section below. And I'll be seeing you, I hope, in the next one. Take care.